we have some light? Shh. It's more romantic like this, isn't it? Why are you whispering? I like it like this. It's more intimate. Really turns me on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like sex? Is it 14 cylinders or 16 cylinders? <laughs> what do you think? No, you're poor, silly. Do you know what Candy would like? Yeah. <gasps> like Uncle Mario to give her the keys of the Porsche so she can drive it all by herself. <laughs> well, if you're a good girl, Uncle Mario will get you insured. As my side needs insurance. What the hell is going on? <laughs> What's happening here? Who is it that? Yes, who are you? It's just me, it's Jonathan, guys. Look, I thought we were alone. <laughs> this is not my scene. Ciao, baby. Oh, but Mario! Oh. I must have gone in the wrong door. I've never yeah, seen it before in my life. It's my She says they won't tell her where they live, I mean, understandably. <laughs> Man, you should make a road because you're brilliant at that. And, like, say, if I need the bed, you sleep in there with Jen, yeah? And, yeah. like, if you need the bed... Yeah. I mean, you do have boyfriends, don't you, Man? <laughs> I have loads of boyfriends, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, for the road, I mean, just for reference, how many times a week do you, um, you know, do it? Oh, five or six times a week. With different people? If I'm lucky, man. <laughs> How many times a week, you know, do you do it then? Oh, um, lots. <laughs> um, yeah, about five or six times yeah. usually, yeah. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the pill then, man. Oh, no, I wouldn't put drugs in my body candy, oh. No, what do you use then? Uh, panty pads. Um... <laughs> Blokes, then, man. Well, you know, I mean, I'm not into long, stable, meaningful relationships. No. no. I mean, I just use a guy for what I want, and the next morning I just say, hit the road and see if you can forget me. Yeah, why don't you swing a few of those guys in Jen's direction? Well, I mean, Candice, I hardly think the type of men who like me would want to go out with Jennifer. I mean, they're usually very intellectual, charming, polytechnic lecturers. Oh. And. Uh, look, Candice, I don't need to talk about it anymore. Thank you. Good night. You want her out of the living room? Take her out with you, boging or whatever it is you do with your friends. Yeah, I will. <laughs> Good night. Oh, man, I'm not interested. Shut yet. up! <laughs> Heat after me. This is an authentic this silver so fox so fur coat. It is practically extinct. Guard it with your Go life. With your life. A very nasty, pungent smell coming from the bathroom. Oh, <laughs> that'll be me. I'm cooking my Hannah. Coming through! Oh, she looked fabulous, man. Jennifer, that is facial rape. <laughs> I cannot believe this sort of pornography is going on in my own home. Work hard. So exactly where is it we're going, Candy? <laughs> we are going to a very private club where a lot of high-class gentlemen will ask you to dance. So, remember what I taught you. Come here, babe. We go... Step, step, shake, shake, boogie round, shimmy. Give us a shimmy. Go on your head with your boobies, though. Shimmy. Jennifer, Jennifer. Into my office, please. Uh-oh. What you have on your face, Jennifer, is man bait, isn't it? <laughs> Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> as your guardian, and as a much more experienced woman, I feel it is my duty to warn you about the potential dangers of tonight. I refer, of course, to M-E-N. They're different to us, Jennifer. <laughs> they have different values, different customs, and, well, let's face it, different parts of the body. <clears throat> 
<laughs> what, men? You're talking about men? Yes, yes. You mean, men. I'm referring, Jennifer, to the dangly bits like this. <laughs> if you see anything like this tonight, don't touch it. <laughs> I'm going to draw you something, Jennifer. <laughs> and if you see anything that even vaguely resembles this tonight, <laughs> call the police immediately, OK? And, um, and wear these braces with your tights. Well, I mean, just to save the worry, I could stay in tonight, I was thinking. Great, then she'll stay in tonight and every night of the week going to bed here on this sofa at 8.30. Oh, no. Yes, yes, I've thought about it, Jennifer. Perhaps you should go. Yes, go, right, go. Right. I filled in the eyes and the mouth for you, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Jen, let's Jen, don't do that, babe. Tell her then, Manda. Beware those floppy <laughs> areas, Jennifer. <laughs> Not you. Darling, there's a friend of mine having a little bit of trouble getting in. And I think you should know her, because she's the Daily Gazette's lucky bingo millionaire is. You can tell. There is. Go on. Make up these morning. Jennifer, sweetheart! <laughs> this is my friend, he's on a holocaust and the owner of the club. Can't. I'm not supposed to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> she's overflowing with money. You know, she can't stop spending. But you wouldn't have heard of her because she doesn't want publicity being like the biggest bingo winner in history, you know. <laughs> she gives her money out to anyone who asks her. You know, I've got to stop her. Jen! Jen, babe, don't stare. <laughs> oh, it's crazy, right? She bought me a Learjet and I don't even know it. <laughs> Do you think she might like to dance? Yeah. Jen, babe, come over here. Yeah, she might look silly, but she's not one of them mad professors. No, she looks stupid, but she's genius underneath. Jen, have a dance with this guy. I thought you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you it's a very clingy dress. <laughs> well, it's just my bosoms are so big, you see, because they've grown two sizes in the last five years. I should have worn a bigger bra. <laughs> I think this is an excuse me. No, 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 no. It's just the name of the dance. We've got to. Hey, come on. I'll teach you some new steps. How about this? Okay, everybody's getting down really funky. Now it's party time. So let's do the conga. The conga. <laughs> Do you want to go to the party? What for? <laughs> well, because you're the million pound bingo winner and everyone wants to congratulate you. I thought it was a pretty special night, actually. <laughs> 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 What are we looking for, Ben? It's a blue transit. Is this it? Yeah, that's the one. Uh oh, you're in trouble. Can I, just, can I just get the phone? 
Hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> that's OK, we're up anyway. Yeah, that's all right. Oh, that's nice of you to tell us. That's good news, isn't it? Yes. We'll be hearing from you very soon, I'm sure. <laughs> Ciao. <gasps> that's good news, Matt. Jennifer's all right. She's with some people. She's OK. But she needs a little bit of money before she can get home. How much money? <laughs> oh, what did he say? It's about £10,000. Not everybody. <laughs> get in here. They said you'll be perfectly all right as long as we meet the demands, man. Demands? Hmm. Are you, are you telling me that Jennifer Marsh has, has been kidnapped? Yeah. That's one word for it, man, yeah. Yeah. But why? I, I, I've no idea, babe, but uh, she's been kidnapped. Kidnapped. And they want a lot of money to okay. get her back. If not, they're going to kill her or carry oh. her off. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! My coat! Have you told her where to drop the money? No, of course not. What? Well, if you're on too long, they trace the call, don't they? No, no, they're going to call us back. <laughs> so, where's the party? Yeah, where are we going to, Morris? Right, all right. Stop here, Lawrence. Well, this is our house, Morris. <laughs> oh, it strikes my aunt lives in a house a bit like this, actually. <laughs> well, it all smells like cheesy socks and smelly pants. <laughs> 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 Uh oh, there's nobody here yet. It's the first person here. This happens to me a lot, actually. Sometimes I get to a party and there's no one there, or it's the wrong address, or it's the wrong party, or they're all just leaving, or something. Still, have you got any napkins? Because people don't like to hold crumbly things in their fingers. What? <laughs> so, where are your napkins, in fact? Look, love, there's no napkins, right? Well, I'll just have to use kitchen roll then, because Madame Lane says it's never a kitchen without kitchen roll. Uh oh, where are Some potatoes? Some mayonnaise. I'll probably have to use this. Steady, steady. No fuss. We don't want anyone getting hurt, so just hand it over nice and slowly. Right, you do the potatoes, then. I'll just carry on. We've got your number, love. We know what you're playing at. Get on that phone, Morris. Speak to her people. Right. I've got the number, Lawrence. It's 358 And can you ask to speak to Amanda and tell her she won't believe my luck? Thanks very much, Hello, Spetta, Sorry, I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, yeah, well, it's us that phoned about an hour ago. Anyway, let's talk about the lettuce. What? The mozzarella. Sorry. The dough. What? The bread. Yeah, can you say some cheesy crackers as well? Because there's nothing here. The money. Oh, I see. Right, now listen. We want it delivered in an hour, and that means 60 seconds, bitch, right? They want the money in an hour. Where are you supposed to get £10,000 in an hour? We want it in a brown leather briefcase. And don't try to be clever. Don't lock it. Now, listen. <laughs> you go to the corner of Marlowe's Yeah, and listen, 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 listen. Try and get one of them ones with a combination Second of them. I really like Second box on the yeah. left. Yeah. Second box on the left. Yeah, because, I mean, we'll be able to keep it afterwards. Got right? it? Gonna be right. Somewhere. Bye. Oh, Amanda, madam. Listen, I'm very rich, so I'm at a party and I'm drinking champagne, so don't try and stop me. Goodbye forever, bossy boots. <laughs> She's been hideously drugged. <laughs> Shall I cover this, then, before people arrive, or it'll just go yellow? Listen, don't you understand? No one is going to arrive. There is no party. No party. Right. We brought you here without permission. We've broken the law. Yeah. That's right, and we broke the speed limit. Yeah. You're alone in a room with two really dangerous men. Yes. Right, we could hurt you a lot, little girl. Yes, right, I'll put it straight in the fridge then. <laughs> OK, if we don't find £10,000, they're going to chop up our lovely little Jennifer and deliver her in pieces through the letterbox. And we might never, ever see her again. <laughs> Mad! No, 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 of course we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Much. Well, as far as I can see, there's only one person around here who's got access to the sort of money we might need. Who's that? <laughs> Are you referring to my finances that I have suckled at my breast? Yes. No. Let's see, what's the price to do here? 
If you don't meet our demands, we will mime her. Hmm. No, no, no. No. Mame, mame. Well, it looks like an eye to me. See if there's a better A in the paper, will you please? Also, you just need to have a dab of the glue and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anyway, then just serrate the edges um, with the scissors and I'll get the potatoes. <laughs> then you just do some potato printing around the side, you see. Like that. This pyramid represents our socio-economic structure. Here's you, the elite at the top, hoarding. Yep. And here's us, the proletariat, at the bottom, <laughs> starving. That's right. <laughs> Let's talk about humanism here, shall we? Shall we? Let's take a little bit here from the top to save a life from here at the bottom, i.e. Jennifer. Simple, you see? Yeah, sure. Thereby plummeting me into a five-figure bracket. <laughs> but uh, look, if you keep me on top, up here where I belong, Mr. Proletariat down here can happily leech off my taxation and buy himself a color television set. <laughs> and even buy his comrade, Mr. Russia, a balalaika for Christmas. <laughs> so, are you saying that invested money is your main concern? Yeah. Right, fine. You won't mind, then, if we relieve you of the material burdens of your life. We'll start with that sunbed, worth about £2,000, I think. Don't you dare touch my sunbed! I bought that with my own hand! Because flies carry germs. Yeah. I mean, they can just be flying around um, willy-nilly and they'll just land maybe um, on a dustbin or something like that and pick up a germ on their feet without realising it. <laughs> and um, then they'll just be flying, zzzzing around and um, they'll land maybe on your food or something like that and um, they'll drop the germ. And then what happens is you eat the food and you eat the germ, you see. So this is good, though. It keeps the flies off. It's like a drum. It's like a drum, you see. You can just tip it up. <laughs> Shelley, we are all very tired. I'm going to ask you one last time. Hello? Hello? There's nobody there. i better go down and see what it is. Well, completely on my own, I suppose. <laughs> Shell, you're an American. What was the name of that girl who got kidnapped from the kidnapper fell in love with her? Oh, it was Patty Hearst, wasn't it? Wouldn't that be nice if it happened to Jen? Because she did look quite nice when I'd done her up, didn't she? And, like, if they did decide to cut her ear off, it'd be all right with Jen's hair, because you could just bob it round the side. <laughs> They've left a note. I think it's a ransom note. <laughs> if you don't meet our demands, we will moam her. <laughs> OK, Shirley, this is serious. We're talking greenbacks here. No way, Jose. OK, OK, Shirley. What if they do kill her? Who is going to make your breakfast every day? Who's going to wipe down your sunbed? Who's going to pluck your bikini line? OK. OK, OK, I have a source. But I only use it for stage five emergencies. Good. Hello, Daddy. <laughs> it's me, Shelley. Yeah, they're still interested in me for the Royal Shakespeare Company. <laughs> but they say I need to get my teeth capped. I know I had them done last year, but here you have to have English teeth. <laughs> About 5,000 pounds. Wire it now. I love you, Daddy. Pass me to Mommy. Oh, Shelley, that's... That's not enough. Watch this. Mommy, Daddy's only giving me 5,000 pounds to have my teeth cap. You know what I get for 5,000 pounds? Elephant tusks. <laughs> Isn't he mean? For another 7,000, I can have real porcelain. Wire it now. Bye, Mommy. I love you more than I love Daddy. <laughs> they hate each other. That's uh, 5,000 and 7,000. That's 12,000 pounds. Well, we only need 10,000. What, I work for nothing? I bet they're horribly torturing her right now. Huh? What? With the glue? Take the glue. It's not too much glue, Morris. Cover the food. The flies, the flies. Where's she going, Morris? Oh, my God, she's gone, you idiot! 
No, there was this thing in Cat's Cradle, and I was once doing Cat's Cradle with a friend of mine, and I got the string so tight that her fingers broke. <laughs> what are you doing? Sorry, I was a bit hungry. I'm just making some breakfast. <laughs> you didn't have much in, actually. I had to go down to the shop on the corner and pick some things. <laughs> I had to go and deliver the note that you'd forgotten. <laughs> Where is Shelley? It's almost 10.15. Remember those American hostages, man? I mean, at least there were 66 of them. They had company. No, but our gents all on her own. Just like that girl who was buried in a coffin with just a straw to breathe through. Candice, <laughs> thank you. No, 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 I mean it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for your relentless optimism, bringing sunshine into all of our lives as usual. I'm getting my lawyers on to my parents. The money's not there yet. It won't be there till this afternoon. Oh, she's gonna die! She's gonna die! She's gonna die! Oh, she's not going to die! Calm down, please. Please. <laughs> right. I'm going to negotiate with them and explain exactly what has happened in a civilised and mature manner. Follow me, girls. We just can't cope anymore. Yeah, yeah, have a back. We don't want to do it, Lawrence. No. We didn't think it was going to be like this. Oh. Anyway, Lawrence, uh, we'd better get back to our dolly mats. Before the, before the, before the glue dries. Before the glue dries. Baby, you have to be nice for us because I'm rich, Amanda. <laughs> She's safe, thank God. You all right, babe? Oh, thank uh, God, you're all right. What was it like from the end? Did you fancy any of them? No, but I didn't get any breakfast. I'm a bit hungry, actually. <laughs> She's hungry, thank God. She's hungry. <laughs> Don't you ever... Ever call me bossy boots again, madam. <laughs> I still believe it. I just made twelve thousand pounds. Everybody, breakfast is on me. Crazy 50 pence a hot dog! <laughs> 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 